I'd like to mention all the solder tools that we'll be using and that you should equip your toolbox with. The first one is obviously the solder iron and notice here on this one I've got a uh, solder iron with a base that has an adjustable heat setting which is quite handy in cases where you might be working on delicate parts or on a more heavy duty type of a part and uh, one of the other critical things to look at in this is it's got a nice place to hold this wet sponge. Uh, the purpose of the wet sponge is so that when we're soldering uh, we can easily just drag the iron tip across there and clean it off. The solder of course is an important part of this. Typically we'll be using uh, 60 40 alloy either with a flux or rosin core or just pure solder. Uh, the solder wick is a desoldering tool which if we have a solder joint where we need to uh, get the solder off of it this is an option. We can heat up the pool of solder dip this in and it will wick away the solder from the joint. This is an easier method of doing that. It's a vacuum desoldering tool also known as a solder sucker and we simply charge it by compressing the spring then depressing the knob which provides a slight vacuum at the tip and what that does is uh, we can heat up a solder joint and just like this the solder wick uh, functionality if we have a uh, solder joint right here that we're working on we like to remove the solder we heat up the pool and simply suck it away. It's about a $20 tool. This solder iron is uh, approximately a $30 tool. And then most importantly is something called a third hand which is available at places like Radio Shack and other electronics places. Uh, it has alligator clips, two alligator clips. Typically comes with a magnifying glass as well. This is very handy for holding wires while you do the soldering. 